All right, so I know you guys are wondering where I am. We've been filling our days and staying busy and trying to get everything posted to eBay that we possibly can. But I want to get a video up for you, even though I wanted to put this over on the Adventure Channel slash Changed Channel. Hubby is back there posting our toys, and I am sitting here posting the last hats and various things. He's got his own eBay page, although it's ours, so it all connects together. But his is called Wilson's Treasure, and I'll be linking that below as well from now on. So, I hope you guys enjoy. This is some of the solds, some of the uh, finds, some of the listings from this week. Like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. And let me know about various items you like. If you find something you really like and you want on either page, just send me an email and we can figure out where to go from there. And it might make it a little easier and better for you too. I got some really cool stuff this week. I cannot wait to show you. And then some of the stuff has been chilling in the bedroom. Well, the storage room waiting to go on eBay. We're working on it. What is that thing? Oh, it's a Monster High doll. Frankenstein. <laughs> huh? Frankenstein. Frankenstein. I, I, I know nothing about those. We're learning as we go for some of it. And some of it we've, we've had for a while and know quite a bit about. But anyway... <laughs> That's the Barbie car in it from the 80s. Uh, it might be, or it might be LOL. Okay, so they recycled some things, by the way. So, like, this car back here, I know I had that sucker with the jacuzzi in the back in, like, the 90s, or late 80s, early 90s. Uh, it had to be late 80s. I'm old. But anyway, um, I know I had that. But it's a Mattel thing, and they can recycle the designs all they want to. So they, I know that they had a very similar one like that that went with the LOL dolls, but it was like a disco uh, minivan kind of deal, and we sold that recently. But anyway, check it all out. Enjoy the video. Please thumbs up. <laughs> Tell me what you think, if there's anything you like. Even if you don't like it, as in you want to purchase it, let me know if you like it, you know? Just is that the kind of thing you do like? I actually meant to show these to you before I packaged them up, but I forgot. These beautiful ruby red plates from uh, France finally sold. I said finally, but we ain't had them that long. But uh, $35, not too bad. Of course, that's before eBay takes all their stuff out and taxes are paid on them. And this clock actually sold it for 13 bucks, so that's not too bad either. Um, it's kind of a cheap filling clock, but it worked really, really well. Now the trick will be if they make it there without getting shattered. I want to show you guys my solds. So, I forgot to show you these before I boxed them up. I did show you when I bought them, I believe. But I got like um, 10 of these little jars with ceramic lids in a baggie for six bucks. Three of them had red lids. Six of them had uh, that turquoise blue that I love so much. And then there was a white, yellow, and green. So I, I sorted them up into pairs or in groupings. And then I have these thread, three red ones. Originally I was asking 18. Then I dropped the price to 16. Somebody sent me an offer for 14. I went ahead and accepted it. Since I paid $7 for all the jars, I technically doubled my money. However, eBay again is going to take 13%. But that's not bad since I doubled my money just on three out of 10. Here is another wonderful sold that I actually have had since I was like 12. The book's not rippled. The, the plastic cover I've got it in is. Um, but it's an old teenage bop magazine. It's international shipping through eBay. And, uh, it sold for 20 bucks. Something that I've had, like I said, since I was 12. <laughs> so, while I'll be sad to see it gone, it's also just another thing I don't need that's in my house. Alright, some quick solds and some interesting flips. This right here sold within a day of posting it. Um, Dallas Cowboys hats, official, uh, nice and clean, pretty pink hat with embroidered cowboys and of course the embroidered star. This sold for $17. It's very clean. <laughs> this right here was given to me at a flea market. Somebody couldn't sell it. This sold for $15. This beautiful little piece was a quick flip. We just got it a couple days ago. I think it sold within 24 hours of posting it. And it sold for $15. I had it posted for $17. It's probably a little less, but uh, less than it could have went for, but that's okay. So it's just very, very pretty. Love, 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 love the panels. And this, I've actually had for a very long time um, and have forgotten about and had to go hunt it and figure out where I put it. But this sold for $24.88. Now, of course, all these prices are the listing price that it sold for. It's 
got nothing to do with um, after fees and taxes and all that. But that is some solds. All right, some sold stuff. The cutest kitty jar in the entire world finally sold. Cookie kitty jar. Oh, face. The buttons in Daisy, the beautiful yellow crystal, finally went to, uh, finally, uh, it's actually a new piece, so it went to uh, Lisa. She uh, liked it, so it's coming soon. And then we got this cute little Fire King mug. I am not a fan of the particular colors, the yellow and brown, but it goes with the set, so it was a great replacement piece if somebody broke theirs. The Donnie Wahlberg New Kids on the Block puzzle sold for 10 whole bucks. Let's see. Okay, so ten dollars, nineteen ninety nine, seven ninety nine, thirty four That is vintage and adorable. These uh, martini glasses went for seventeen, and then we got this fossil key. Believe it or not, it's just a, an extra fossil key from an old purse, and it sold for ten dollars. Hey guys, I need your help. I need to find this cookie jar. Um, a lady purchased it from me. I sent it to her. It shattered. I wrapped it myself this time. I thought I had it good and going. I had big thick bubble wrap all around it, but apparently it just wasn't good enough. She had one of these when she was seven. She really, really wants one, and I would like to provide her one because it, it, it makes me very sad. And this is honestly the cutest cookie jar I've ever seen in my life. And I haven't seen another one, so if you see one, if you can snag it in your local, I will so totally come and pick it up and try to ship it some help to this lady um but if you see one please keep an eye out for me and i mean i would love to like send this to her now these four uh cosmopolitan martini glasses two of them broke in transit so i'm gonna ship the person two more glasses because i actually have another set of these and then file insurance this right here shattered i think UPS USPS is just kind of paying playing like hockey or something with them now because that I had so much bubble wrap on that I used almost an entire pack of the fat bubble wrap and it, it's just heartbreaking especially the story the lady told me so I want to find her another one because I want to make sure she has it she was able to glue it back together I did tell her I'll help her file insurance because she didn't really want to send it back but you know, um, any information she gets. But I would still like to find her another one and send it to her without it being shattered. It's the one with the smile. There's a frowny one on here too, but this is the one with the little smile. And he's so cute. Woohoo, Deadpool. So I haven't decided if I'm keeping this mug yet or not, but we'll see. And then I got these four cute glasses. They're the ribbed glasses. Got orange, purple, green, and blue. This is cool, but I'm not sure why I picked it up, but I really liked it. And it's really, really thick and pretty. It's a red lobster. It's a measuring cup thing. And I don't know. Again, I don't know why I picked it up. I haven't looked it up to see if it's worth anything. But uh, I liked it. What do you guys think of that thing? I think it's just because it was so pretty. Caught my eye. Got this. Don't know why I keep picking these up. I don't think I've sold the first one. I don't think I've posted the first one. Um, it's a butterfly paperweight. Um, very pretty. I like it, but I can't. I don't know why I keep picking them up. Newly acquired today, this beautiful pink goblet. I picked it up because it glows. What I didn't know is it is a Fenton pink thumbprint goblet. Let's turn off the light and see it glow. All right, y'all ready? Where is it? Look at that beautiful pink glow. As you can see, I mean, it looks like, you know, I need Corey's phone for this. She picks up glow much better than I do. But I assure you, it quite does glow. And it is gorgeous. Just love it. I believe this is selenium. And I get a Fenton goblet. How awesome. I also got this beautiful large lion amber ashtray. That's gorgeous. So here's where it gets a little bit weird for me. I have one offer for this, um, but they're offering $55. I'm asking $99, which $55 is a lot more than I paid, but a lot less than what it's worth. And um, there's sold comps on these for $55 for a single bowl, and there's two of these. 
So it's like, do I accept it? Don't I accept it? At least it's fifty-five dollars. It's a lot more than what I paid. I think I paid seven for them, um, but it's a lot less than what I could get. However, could get could mean sitting on them for a little while. I don't know. Hmm. What would you do? I got these two little sweethearts today at the flea market. Um, they're frogs. From the position I got them in, they're kind of ugly, but <laughs> I think this the brown one here is a uh, polished, oh gosh, agate. I think it's polished agate, but I'm not positive. There is a couple other options that it could be. What do y'all think? Um, I need to look him up better on eBay, but he's super cool, beautiful. I love it. This one? This little fella, he takes the cake. And I got to show somebody something new today. Because uh, when I was going to buy him, I said, you know, how much you want? And they said $3. I was relatively sure it would glow, but it wasn't positive. Let's see if he'll do it for me. There you go. That is going to get a beautiful, beautiful um, spot, most likely, in my buyer's uh, cabinet. If you guys are interested in this glowing glass and stuff, just let me know. I don't mind who buys it. I just, you know, just let me know you're interested in it. Because this one, you see that beautiful uranium glass glow. It's pretty awesome on this little froggy. That is so crazy. He glows like crazy. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> American Eagle door, no uh, door knockers. Uh, aren't they super cool? Vintage. Of course, they're used. Came from Google for two bucks. Looks like these are selling on eBay for between 25 and 35 each. So I'm going to pop on eBay for um, like, you know, 20. They'll probably 30. Let's go 30. It always excites me to find something new I've never knew existed. Now, I actually got this about a month ago, and I've got another one too now. Um, but it's a spoon rest. Um, and they have fork rests too, you know, that are a little bit longer, which is the other one I have. This one is Clamborn and is produced by Fenton. Now, I didn't know. I mean, I never really thought about spoon rest before. But seriously, if you're going to lay your spoon down because you pick up your fork, why not have a pretty thing to put it in? That is just great. I mean, I'd, the things from our past that we don't even know anything about think about register in our brains that used to once exist that still exist but you know I don't know I never thought about this and how great that is to keep your 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 tablecloth clean especially like at Christmas time when you got family and stuff over how great so this is a nice fun creepy little object <laughs> you got a big old chucky cup and it says friends till the end on the back that is just a super mug <laughs> it's awesome large these I have to stop buying I realize I'm buying these for myself I don't even know what I'm putting that little sucker I'll find something got a Dallas Cowboys cup it's one of the official ones never used before hand wash only by the way guys if, if a cup has a design like this that you can feel it's best to hand wash it keep it out of the dishwasher and do not soak it just wash it like with your hands and this, I love this panda mug. It's Pier 1. Oh, oh, don't break it. That ain't good. And it's got this, it's, it's a raised design. Great bamboo handle. Love this. Needs a wash. But I love that one. I think that's awesome. Got a big green ashtray because the, the design is just intricate on this. And of course it's vintage. Look at the design. And things went into it a long time ago. People paid more attention to detail. Got a little Amberina candy dish back there, trinket dish. Missing the lid, it turns out, but it's actually in good condition, so perhaps I can sell it somehow or take it out to the flea market for a couple bucks. Oh, I gotta show y'all this because I'm in love. I'm uh, just, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna sell this or just keep it. <laughs> I thought this was rose quartz. Turns out it's alabaster, it says so on the back. It is a trinket box with a swivel lid. I almost broke it trying to, well, I didn't really almost break it, but. I kind of sort of did because I was trying my damnedest to open it. But it's made in Italy. It is genuine Volterra alabaster. Handcrafted in Italy. Patent swivel lid. Top, rather. It says the name of the person that makes it or the designer. But 
Uh, we ain't gonna butcher no names today. But how easy is that to just drop your rings in, slide it shut, and it's beautiful. <laughs> I got these, but they're evil because <laughs> I forgot it. What was in the little uh, piece of uh, newspaper? And one of them dropped on my toe. It didn't hurt me any, but I cussed a little bit, just a little bit. Just little candle holders. One more thing. One more thing. <laughs> so of course, y'all know I love my vintage magnifying glasses my desk magnifying glasses they are fantastic i got this one i like it even better it's got these horseshoe things on it i guess it's uh bronze is it bronze i don't know brass i don't know what the little thingies are made out of but the horseshoes and it's a super cool it's got this light blue tint to it and you can read i think even better with that one so the, the cool thing is these are worth about uh, $10, 10 to 15 maybe 20 if you're lucky. These are worth about 40 and they're fantastic looking on a desk. Now, I normally don't jump on crazes, but I found these. These are the first salt and pepper shakers I've really found that I thought were awesome. They're milk glass salt and pepper shakers with plastic lids that are in excellent condition. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, they're listed as 1970s. And I believe it because, you know, plastic lids, milk glass. And then you got this uh, beautiful, beautiful green and yellow floral design all the way over on both of them. I guess this is the pepper shaker since it's darker. Somebody listed them as Avon. And they might be, but I can't see that little marky thing if there's if that's a mark instead of a, a, an indention. But I love those. I think they're super cool. Ah, oh, this makes me sick. So I was just kind of scrolling to see what kind of clear glass has sold. I've had one of these domes on top of my refrigerator forever. And I finally tossed it the other day. But it was still in the trash can when I saw this. So I ran outside to check. And of course, it's in a million and one little pieces. <sighs> you guys, check what you got before you throw it away. This was my fault. It just came off the top of a clock that didn't work. And I thought, you know what? We'll just keep the glass in case I find another one. Never did. Never thought. For some reason, people might use these domes. I mean, think of all the uses. You could put them over a vase that you just don't want to get dusty. But anything. <laughs> now I feel like a dummy. Look at this beautiful cubist style uh, round ball, clear glass, um, fairy lamp. I love this one. It's so pretty. I have uh, one of those electric candles in there, battery operated. I don't know why they call them electric. But that is so, so pretty. I absolutely adore this. One of these just recently sold for $23.99, so that's what I'm gonna ask. But this is great and beautiful. I really like this one. Whoop. They had another one up there. Well, they had just the bottom to another one. And I looked everywhere for the other top, but I assume the other top got broken. That's why it was up there, but this is great. Look how pretty, you guys. This is a Gottinger 1988 silver plate mirror. That's what it says right there. <laughs> and it's really cute. It's only four and a half inches tall. That little handle is only two inches. From 1988, I expected it to have more tarnish or something, but it's very shiny. So the previous owner cared for it a lot. That is so pretty. I got extremely excited for about 30 seconds. <laughs> I clicked on him to see if it was the same thing. No, that is like a six plus inch elephant for $94. This one, however, I believe is the exact same one I have. Um, and it sold for a little under 23. 23 was, well, let's see, 32 is the asking price. 23 is marked out. So somebody probably made an offer for 20 or so dollars and it was accepted. But look at that. And look at, hello, hi little tiny. Shipping this is gonna be fun. This is a glass baron, um, glass elephant. If you guys have seen any of these little glass element things, they sell for a lot if you buy them new. Oh my goodness, a lot, lot. Um, we were in Gatlinburg recently and they had these little tiny things like this. And I guess because it's so difficult to make and so dainty that they are going for like a hundred dollars or so which is crazy but you know okay but there's a the little glass baron sticker and all that i don't know what 
the rest of it said. I'm trying to be really gentle with him. He's tiny. 170K. I don't know what that means, but look, ain't he gorgeous? And this one's actually perfect as long as I manage not to, you know, mess him up. He's got these little blue glass eyes. Very pretty. Just now getting around to listing these. These are anchor hawking and they are marked uh, cobalt blue uh, drinking glasses. <laughs> these are so pretty. I love selling replacements because you never know when somebody's broken some to their set or who knows, they bought a set of four, they might need six. Families grow, families shrink all the time. Anyway, well, households anyway. These are awesome looking. I don't know what they call it though with this little line down it, but they are so, so pretty. Um, I just love them. What do you guys think about cobalt blue? I finally got around to posting this great amber ashtray. You don't find these very often anymore. So now I have a conundrum. Hmm. Now when I originally saw these, obviously that green sparked my attention. I do believe they're anchor hawking. I do believe they're older, but I can't really be sure because they're not marked. They could be absolutely modern, couple years old, but... Um, I thought I'd run the black light over them just to be sure that that doesn't glow, although I didn't think it did because it's a little bit darker. Um, but, you know, just, just to see. Well, the green doesn't glow and the blue doesn't glow, but the pink appears to be made of selenium. Or the, the base does anyway. Or selenium in it somehow. I really, I don't know if it'll even show up on camera because it doesn't like to. Corey can take great pictures of it, but see that pink glow? Let's see. I can't. <laughs> oh, the black light's showing up as pink on the camera. <laughs> I got it. Okay, well, anyway, this one does glow. Again, you can't really um, tell it right through the camera. But uh, So, I'm thinking maybe sell those as a pair and sell that as selenium. Because, I mean, people prefer pairs anyway more than threes but uh, well I'm gonna go ahead and post them to and see what I can think with this one what do you guys think just listed these four beautiful uh, candlestick holders everything I see they are bitterman um, b-i-e-d-e-r-m-a-n-n -E -N -N? Uh, something like that bitterman anyway um, but they are inch thick candlestick holders uh, star of David shape the six pointed star they are for tapers and these are just they look like ice cubes and I just kind of knew when I saw them that they're, they're pretty fantastic I think if I if I have a favorite shape which I'm not sure I have a favorite shape but it would have to be these and I did notice this has a flaw just one of them does and the bottom corner of one of these is chipped but it's on the bottom you can't see it you can't it doesn't cause a problem with the functionality of it or the look of it um it just kind of blends in there it is so you can see it's got a little chip but i don't know i posted them we'll see how it goes but i just think these are so beautiful but if i have a favorite shape i think the six or eight pointed star would be my favorite shape do you guys have a favorite shape is that weird i've got some great things while i was out here today guys this is a blue pyrex bake pan and it's worth about $25. Check this thing out. We have a crystal perfume bottle. Beautiful. It does have a little tiny boo-boo on its top. Big Brian's kissing me. Quit it. I'm trying to record something here. Ain't that pretty. All right. It turns out this is a McGee from 1898. That thing's over 120 years old. And it's beautiful. <laughs> Two more lovely items I just posted. This 10 inch vase here with this uh, controlled bubble bottom. It's supposed to be from the 1960s. There's a little dirt in there. I, can't, I ain't got it long enough to thin enough to get it out. But it's so pretty. And this bowl. So I've had this for a hot minute. I just hadn't got around to posting it. I thought it was pretty when I bought it. But I did not know that that is 22 karat gold. And this is a bougie bowl. <laughs> even these little green diamonds I don't even know how they made them or how they got them there but it's in perfect condition it is signed in gold um, by the company that makes it it's Culver um, Valenciana made in France it's a bougie bowl <laughs> 
All right, so these cups sell for $11 a piece, $22 for two, and you know, they go up. The thing is, the ones I see selling are selling as two blue or two lime or two whatever. Um, so I'm wondering if it would be better to sell these individually for people who have broken their cup or if I should sell them as a set. I think I'm gonna place them as a set first and see what happens. What would you guys do? I popped them on as a set. It, depend, it seems to be that every single one of these are discontinued. So, awesome. So, I am actually thrilled with this pickup. I, I picked it up because it was beautiful. It seems silly, but it is a measuring jar. You can see that. It, it's kind of magnifying there. Um, it's from Red Lobster. But this thing was so beautiful, it caught my eye. And I get to looking at it online. And they're sold comps for almost $19 for one cup. Well, one measuring cup. This thing is cool, to say the least. See how thick and crystal clear that is? That thing is just absolutely beautiful. I'm actually not sure if I showed you guys this before, but this is a J. Cruz saddlebag style book bag purse. And I call it a saddlebag style because I don't know what else to call it because it seems like a saddlebag. So, see that? It's leather. Ugh. Leather. Uh, come on now. And it's got a pull strap and a button latch thing there. And on the back, uh, of course, you got your handle. And then you got your two book bag uh, things. Of course, this is leather. Very nice, expensive bag when it's new. Huge uh, pouch in the back for a large phone. This thing is a massive purse. <laughs> if you see what I'm showing you here. I like that thing. That's super awesome. This one is another nice large book bag purse. It is that soft buttery leather. It's just really, really soft. It's got this pretty tassel with suede here. Love that. Got two large zipper areas. It also has a pouch in the back for your phone. I tell you what, I buy these bags because I love them. And I think, you know what? Let's see if other people love them too. So it's got the adjustable straps here and a tote strap here in case you just want to put it in your hands. This is a nice bag. This is a very nice sizable bag. So I decided I needed this in my life, this beautiful black leather Margot book bag purse or backpack purse. Um, and it feels like such good quality. I had to finally look it up because even though I wasn't planning to sell it now, um, and it does have like a spot where it's like, it might just be dirty or it might be the leather fading. I don't really know, but it is real leather, real suede, beautiful bag, great, great book bag purse which i'm carrying a book bag purse i switched from my steve madden the brown one over there to this one and when i looked it up this one sells used for 50 dollars, and that's sold comps that's what it's actually selling for and more <laughs> it's like no wonder it's such a great bag and i had to use it oh it's so soft sometimes listing things gives you a headache <laughs> these are barbed wire bookends four pounds each. I can't tell what they're made out of. This could be stone or it could be ceramic. If it's ceramic, it's the heaviest ceramic I've ever felt in my life. Um, again, four pounds each. They look like wooden blocks, but they're, they're clearly something else. These, I don't know what they are. They're meant to look bronze, but they sound hollow. A magnet doesn't stick to them. They're not super cold to the touch, and it's chilly in here. I mean, this is cooler than this. I got no idea. I listed them. They're up, but I, I, I don't know. But they ought to keep your books in place at four pounds a piece. I just listed this beautiful Victoria's Secret watch. It looks brand smacking new. I got it, and I put a battery in it. It's been holding time so perfectly. It says the movement was made in Japan. So that's awesome. Um, again, it's got a new battery, but the battery pack does say 377. Stainless steel base metal. Genuine leather band. That sucker is gorgeous. And it looks like, like I said, it looks brand new. I did try it on for wear, but eh, realistically, I probably won't wear it because I work in hot environments and watches are hot. <laughs> So I'm about to post these. These are J. Crew tennis shoes, women's. I think they're city tennis shoes. But anyway, these are brand new. They've never been worn. 
they are beautiful, but they have a couple and just small issues is some of the pink while they were laying in the box faded onto the white and it happened on both sides. Now I probably can clean that, but I don't want to turn a non problem into a big problem. So the only thing these have ever been done is tied on. I uh, tried on. These are size sevens. Um, wish I could. Yeah, there we go. It's down here. They are size sevens, and these are pretty awesome. They're $118, brand new. Like I said, these are new. They just without the tags or the box, and this little bit of pink transfer. And I don't know how to undo that without like maybe smearing it. So I don't want to do that. I think I'll leave that to whoever decides to grab these. All right, you guys, we've got this over a foot tall Sasaki Japan crystal handcrafted vase with all this beautiful cobalt blue rims and uh, swirl. That sucker is a beauty and huge. She's like, uh, it's 12 inches, 12.75 inches, so just under 13 inches. Quite fantastic, actually. I mean, the lighting in here is not that good, but that sucker is pretty. All right, so Claudia sent quite a few watches. Uh, all of them need batteries. All these need batteries. These two and this one have already been replaced. I was going to post this one, but then I noticed the missing stone, and I was like, yay, I get to keep it. <laughs> I mean, I could have kept it regardless, but, uh, you know, I really like that one. So I would have felt bad, and you know what I mean. I just liked it. So, by the way. But anyway, these two have batteries. They're holding time great. This one's already posted. It is a Avon watch with the floating stones. I float them. Like a, there you go. And then this one here is going to be posted. It's got the battery in it too now. I'll work on these later. Some of them might find their way out to the flea market for $8 to $10 a piece with new battery, of course. Um, this one's probably going on eBay too, and this one's going to go on eBay. Uh, buy now. I like buy now. I don't like the auction mode. So, I mean, they're there if you're interested in them. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, I've got the light shade off the lamp over there so Hubby can post his dolls and stuff. We're working on posting Monster Highs and Barbies and a little bit of everything. So let's just go ahead and... <laughs> she got no shirt on, but that's alright. But at least you ain't like LOL. <laughs> LOL has nipples. <laughs> Just listed this beautiful crystal um, ring holder. Love these. It's got the scalloped edges, the swirl pattern on the bottom. It's mid century at best, at least. <laughs> it's just so pretty. I love these. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed. We're still plugging away and hard at work. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring the bell, everything you haven't done yet. These videos will start going over on the other channel. But right now, I just want to get you guys something up because I know I haven't done a keto video in quite some time. LOL. Even though, what? It's LOL. So that's an LOL car now? Yeah. It was not in the 80s. <laughs> but anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. So, revision, it's Barbie. I know that. He's looking at the year now or trying to find a year. Most of them are stamped with a year, uh, generally on the bottom, but I have no idea. Uh, anyway, oh, I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys, I forgot to mention, I did put uh, batteries in some of the watches that were sent to me by Claudia, and uh, this one's mine. That's a 2019? It could still be LOL. <laughs> the thing about the LOL, it looks just like this, but it don't have the 88 on the back of it. See, okay, so 88 was the original then. That's the one I had. That one might be made in 2019, but I had one in 88, because... I had one. I played with it. I begged for it. I wanted it bad. Can you hold it up and set, so they can see it real good? Y'all see that? And the headlights, you push them down, they come up. It's got this little jacuzzi thing in the back of it. <laughs> he's been playing with toys all day. That's pretty much what he's been doing. Do y'all remember that? One of the side glass right here and one of the seats. That's all I see is this. That's you're sticking a Barbie in it. You can't see the season no way. glove box, the lights work, and they light up. And as soon as I come 
confirm 100% there will be dolls with it. Yeah, he's got to figure out to put Barbies or LOLs with it. I put that 1969 Barbie with it. Well, 69 Barbie would have owned an 88, wouldn't she? She'd be, what, 19 years old? Hmm. <laughs>